Hey, how's everyone doing? My name is Alfred, also known as Jen Colado. If you find this content useful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Today, we're actually going to be go over, going over introduction to candlesticks. Um, before we run, we must learn how to walk. Before we walk, we must learn how to crawl. Um, the uh, candlesticks is actually uh, one of the main ways I get uh, price movements and price behaviors. And this is actually one of the most important uh, things that you need to learn if you want to get into uh, technical analysis uh, or charting or, or any of that. We must learn how actually candlesticks form, what are the shapes, uh, why candlesticks form, uh, where candlesticks uh, form, and uh, a lot of uh, intricate details on the candlesticks. Um, so actually, uh, let's go over uh, the slides. So uh, the way I'm going to be actually doing this is um, I could just do a normal PowerPoint, but that would actually be born. So what I'll actually be doing is I'll actually be going over the uh, theoretical stuff, which is here displayed on the PowerPoint. And then I'll be going uh, switching over to my browser and I'll be showing you a chart of uh, Bitcoin. Um, that will actually show you uh, so you can get a more practical view on what I'm talking about in a live uh, demonstration uh, instead of just me reading off a PowerPoint, just like uh, like a regular old classroom where we'll get bored. All right, guys. Um, so I digress. Let's uh, let's move on. So what is a chart? So um, before you even uh, going into candlesticks, we must uh, know what, what a chart is. So a chart, by definition, is a visual representation of data. So we use charts to visually represent represent quantitative data, especially over time. In trading, investing, a chart is used to represent market behavior. It actually represents human emotion. So how the, uh, how strong the buy buys were, how strong the sells were, where which, which zones actually uh, buy based off of price uh, past uh, history are likely to admit a, um, a reaction. Um, so we can see how the market reacted based on how candlestick patterns open closed on certain levels. The candlestick is the single most important tool in trying to predict for future price movement. If you can master candlesticks, you can develop an edge over investors or traders who do not take the time to observe and adequately analyze candlestick patterns. Okay, so what is a what is a candlestick, and why is it important? Okay, candlesticks in plain simple terms show us how the price moved on that specific open and closing time. You can analyze candlesticks on the one minute, fifteen minute, thirty minute, one hour, four hour, daily, weekly, monthly, and even yearly. Um, techni technically, you can actually um, even do it on the one second. Uh, if you have a trading view account, um, a premium trading view account, or any charting software, you can customize which time frame uh, you actually want to display your candlesticks. So, um, by the order of probability, the higher time frame you analyze the candle, the more accurate you are likely to be as you are eliminating a lot of noise. So, um, if you analyze the chart on a weekly time frame, you're actually going to get a more overall uh, greater picture of what the price movements uh, are and and how the the price moved on that week. And then you, you're able to make a swing trade based off of the, that weekly uh, canon and then the closing price. However, if you look at a one minute chart, a one minute chart uh, can change very quickly, so it's actually not very it's it's not very useful to analyze a one minute chart uh, because you can actually get a bullish reversal, a bearish reversal, all in a one minute time frame. You're not not really going to get an accurate view on how that price is going to be ending, unless you actually trade in the one minute, which uh, a lot of people do trade the one minute. A lot of people actually scalp. Um, however, uh, I personally uh, recommend. Um, most people to trade uh, more of the weekly time frames, the or the daily, the weekly time frames. Uh, trading the very small time frames, you're you're likely to get stopped out and um, making making sort of plays based off of the the smaller time frames is is very risky. And in trading, we want to sort of eliminate risk, okay, or at least eliminate as much as possible because there's always going to be risk. So. A candlestick is the most important piece of tool that you want to view on a chart because we are trying to view how the price uh, behaved. A bullish candlestick can show us that there was a lot of buying and a bearish candlestick will show us that there was a lot of selling. 
However, what's most important is the shape of the candlestick, which will tell us how the buying was done and how the selling was done. The shape of the candle is actually the most important piece of the candlestick, not the color. So if we go over what are the shapes of the candlesticks, um, the, this is a sort of cheat sheet. Um, you can Google uh, candlestick cheat sheet and you'll get, uh, most likely you'll get something like this. Um, so these are uh, sort of neutral candlestick patterns, bullish candlestick patterns, and bearish candlestick patterns. Um, I recommend you actually memorize what, what this looks like um, and uh, print it out or, or, you know, view it on a screen or, or me just memorize what these candlestick patterns are and pretty much what they do because uh, this is this is this is very important you know you need to study as well so how are candlesticks used in trading so candlesticks are used in conjunction with support and resistance when the price hits a certain level we want to see how the candlestick forms if the candlestick is a bearish engulfing for example on support then we can expect the price to break that support level as it means there was a large sell-off and there is no signal that the sell-off is done so a bear, bearish engulfing, um, if we go back to number, this slide right here, a bearish engulfing uh, sort of looks like this. So we can actually get, even if, so right here, this pattern looked like it was uh, on resistance and then we got a bearish engulfing, we got the price rejection and then we got a, we got a bearish engulfing. This, this sort of uh, suggests that there's gonna be more sell-off. And if, if you notice on, on the little uh, demonstration, there is more sell-off, however, this pattern can actually show up in support. So um, this is why you want to you want to see where the candlestick pattern forms, not not just if the pattern stick. Because if 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 a candlestick pattern just form and you sh and you view it on a chart, and let's say for example you short it, you know, or you anyone can make money, right? Anyone could just make money, um, just you know, off a of textbook patterns. Oh, we got a bullish hammer let's go long oh we got a bullish uh engulfing let's go long we got a bearish uh hanging man doji let's go short um but it doesn't work that way you want to see where in the chart that pattern formed and also the velocity of how that pattern uh, the pattern forms so if there's a strong sell-off you want to wait before we get to the nearest resist uh, i'm sorry the nearest support before we actually uh make a decision whether to buy So, um, however, if the candlestick is a bullish engulfing on support or a bullish handle, then we can expect the uh, a bounce or an increase of price for further continuation. So, of course, if you're at a strong support, uh, for example, here, if you're at a very strong support and you know there's a strong support because we got previous price uh, history, this is a weekly chart of Bitcoin, by the way, if we got a weekly price history, showing that there's a lot of uh, support you know we can expect that buying at this level is normal is normally safe so we notice how we never drop below uh we sort of uh, any 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 buys around this level indicated that there was a high probability that we would see further uh further price movement to the upside so um right here we touched uh we only touched this level a couple times however after you note, after you saw a candle like this, if uh, notice how here, you this is a bearish. Uh, as I said, this is a bearish engulfing on a support. You do not want to buy when it's at this level, because even if you bought here, yes, you did buy at the uh, at the bottom, or or very close to it. However, you ran the risk that the next candle was going to be another bearish engulfing, which was going to uh, drop uh, break support and and. Pretty much free fall or collapse however you want to wait for the price to sort of consolidate and go sideways and for a bullish candlestick to form and you want to see volume so we so you know we got some some nice volume here we, we noticed we had a uh, a sell-off here however this price never broke that support we noticed that we got another retest of that support and we noticed we got a bullish hammer with uh, good volume, so it, it indicated that the next candle 
was going to be a bullish candle and that's exactly what uh, you know you played you played off of the probabilities you you need to wait for the next candle to form before you take a decision you do not you do not trade based off of the current candle you need to wait for a reversal okay so this is why i say knowing the shape of the candlestick based off based on crucial levels is extremely important in determining your next move okay so are candlesticks always right no nothing in life is certain candlesticks will only give us a a good idea of how the price behaved and what we can expect the next candle to be so based on uh, my experience certain candlesticks patterned actually have a very high probability of playing out over 80 percent and this is a morning star pattern which is bullish um, i color coded this um, so you know you just memorize these patterns and uh, practice uh, sh viewing them on on charts uh, whether it's bitcoin amc gamestop or any other chart tesla or any other chart uh, just go on those charts and see how and why these patterns form so morning star pattern, evening star pattern, hanging man doji, dragonfly doji, three white soldiers, three black crows, shooting star pattern, inverted hammer. So um, actually within the order of magnitude, these are these are the what I call the the most reliable. Make sure you memorize these and and practice. So why do certain candlestick patterns actually not play out? So. You may have noticed that you may have a bullish engulfing on the chart. However, the price continued to de decline. There are many factors that you must take into account. You must take into account the overall trend. Are we in a downtrend or an uptrend? You must take into account how severe the sell-off is. If you buy a bullish engulfing or a bullish hammer, but it is currently in a strong sell-off, you run the risk of further price continuation to the downside due to the force of the overall trend you will most likely get a more accurate reaction at the next strongest support or liquidity zone again guys we will talk about liquidity zones um in the next couple of ta education episodes there's also of course manipulation okay so let's let's go over um let's go back to the chart and see where a a bullish engulfing formed and why that bullish engulfing actually didn't result into more buying. So, um, okay. Let's see here. And this is all on the fly. So, notice here. Notice here. This was when the price was trading on Bitcoin. This was when it was in a bear market. Uh, when it was in the bottom. And the price was trading at uh, the 3100 to the 4100 dollar level. So this is a uh, right here. This is a a bullish engulfing. This is clearly a bullish engulfing. All right. So here it is, guys. You have a resistance level at the 4100 dollar level. However, you got a bullish engulfing. You read you read any TA book, and it's gonna say bullish engulfing buy. Yes, a bullish engulfing is normally a buy. However, what you want to do is you want to see what the next candle forms like. And if the next candle manages to break this resistance, then you buy the what right here, you buy this breakout for for further continuation. So, yes, this this candle formed and then we got that breakout. Now, yes, you do miss out. Um, the, the correct way to trade is you want to wait for what's called confirmation. Yes, you can buy. Um, there's two ways to look at it. You can buy the strong support, the extremely strong support, which at this uh, time was 3,400. So anytime, if you notice here, anytime we got we got to the 3,400 level, we got a bounce. So um, you, it was risky, but it was it was it was worth buying when when it was strong support, much like AMC. It was risky, but it was it was worth buying the thirty three dollar level because every time we got to the thirties, we got a bounce. Um, but the correct play was to wait for the golden fib or the thirty seven dollar level to break out and then buy that breakout. So much like here, 
the correct way is actually to buy when it breaks out. So once, so these are weekly candles, but if you zoom out, okay, you noticed that the price actually broke out. Once you break out of this level right here, it's a confirmed uptrend and that, and that relays back to the weekly. Okay. So you do not want to buy just because you saw a bullish engulfing you do not want to buy the next candle because you may buy heavy here right at the top at, at this local top at 4100 but then you might sell when it drops down all the way to 3400 and and guys this right here is a uh is a 20 percent drop so you might sell off and then eventually the price is going to break out so you're gonna you're gonna pretty much panic sell, right? So there's two ways to look at it. You don't you want to wait for the next candle, a bullish after a bullish engulfing, you want to wait for a next strong bullish candle to form. If you do not see that next strong bullish, that means that the trend has not reversed. So you're not gonna see any continuation. So there's guys, there's no guessing in uh, in in this. Okay. So by the way, um, anyone that's watching this today, August 29, this is this is actually looking like it's turning into this is Bitcoin, and on the weekly chart, it's looking like it's actually turning into an evening star uh, reversal to the downside. So we might see if this candle closes like this, we might see uh, some further continuation to the downside, so, uh, or the end of the trend, uh, uh, end of the uh, small tr uh, trend. All right, let's get back to the this. So. How do you get better at candlesticks? So the only way to get better at candlesticks is actually to practice. I have over 5,000 hours of chart time. Yes, that you heard that right, over 5,000 hours. So um, I know experts, they say that you need thousands of hours before you get good at something. So uh, eventually, once you get very good at something, you're going to be able to look at, you're going to be able to look at it and automatically pretty much have a rough, uh, pretty pretty much a good rough idea of what the outcome is uh, without actually doing much analyzing because you've seen this many, many times. So you must, you need at least 1000 hours of chart time before you can get reasonably competent at candlesticks, much like a video game. I know many of you guys are uh, gamers and uh, I played video games before much like a video game. The more you play, the better you will get and the more skilled you will become. So, in conclusion, um, there's really not much to it. Um, you need to be, you need to be able to master uh, uh, the candlestick patterns. You and you need to combine that with viewing support and resistance. So you must get good at support and resistance. Once you get good at support and resistance, you'll be be able to accurately um, identify candlestick patterns and how they formed and why they formed. And you'll be able to make a good trading decision on how to manage your risk. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this content, uh, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, the next uh, episode, the next TA education episode will be on Fibonacci. I know many of you uh, want to uh, or want to learn how Fibonacci works. And uh, I'm pretty, I'm actually, I actually think a lot of you guys are going to like that episode a lot better than this one, but we must first learn the basics first. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Peace.